You're listening to the Packernet Podcast Network. It's time to talk about the Green Bay Packers. This is your Packers Update, the Daily Cheese, brought to you by Packernet.com. The Daily Cheese is a collaboration with the Packernet Podcast, produced by the Pack Daddy, Ryan Schlipp, and I am your host, JJ Leahy. You can follow me on Twitter, at JJ Leahy, to stay up to date on all things Packers or to submit questions. I had to grab the script that I wrote for my opening intro, because it has been quite a few days since the last time I recorded a podcast here. Let's be honest, there's just not much happening. It's basically a bunch of mock drafts and wish lists right now. Here's who I'd like the Packers to go after. Here's who they should draft. We do finally have a little bit of news today that is worth doing an episode about, though. First, however, Aaron Jones' father, Alvin Jones Sr., has unfortunately passed away. Very sad, of course. Many of you remember the video, and it is being shared around again, of him going over to the sideline during a game and getting some encouragement from his dad, who reminds him at the very end that he loves him. Of course, Aaron and his brother Alvin Jr. are obviously devastated. A lot of Packer fans are showing their support by donating to the Brothers Foundation for military children. I've seen quite a few people online post screenshots of donating $33 to honor Aaron Jones' number 33 jersey. I think that's very nice. If you're able to do something like that, I encourage you to do so. Well, the big news is that Mike Silver reported that Aaron Rodgers has reportedly reached out to two different players, at least two, trying to recruit them to come to Green Bay. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. The Packers obviously don't have very much money to spend. Rodgers is likely trying to convince them to take a pay cut to come to Green Bay. But I'd like to suggest to you that the members of the media who are so determined that the Packers are moving on from Aaron Rodgers or that Rodgers wants to force his way out of Green Bay, would do well to also consider reporting on this story. You know, the one that makes it sound like Rodgers wants more good players to come play with him because he thinks he's going to be around for a while. I don't know, just spitballing. Maybe uh, he's reaching out to quarterbacks and saying, hey, why don't you come replace me? Maybe that's what's going on. I kind of doubt it. Well, the rumor on the street, I've heard this from two different places, is that one of the players is Richard Sherman. We do know that Rodgers does hold Sherm in high regard. This is one of the players that he really likes in the league. Also, he would definitely have to take a pay cut to come to Green Bay because there are some teams out there that would be willing to pay kind of a lot of money for him, even though he's not quite as good anymore. He's not peak Richard Sherman. Who could the other player that Rodgers reached out to be? Well, I do have some ideas. The most obvious would be former Packer Casey Hayward. This one makes sense for a couple of reasons. Hayward said he was extremely frustrated and angry that the Packers moved on from him. No question he holds a lot of resentment and bitterness toward his old team. However, there's an entirely new coaching staff and front office. This is a different team than the one that let him go. Now that he's been released by the Chargers, Aaron Rodgers might be the guy to smooth things over with Casey and talk him into coming back. The next name that comes to many people's minds would be wide receiver Antonio Brown. Yeah, it's possible that Aaron Rodgers really wants Brown. I would say it's extremely unlikely that the Packers management shares that opinion. Last fall, Adam Schefter reported that the Packers did try and sign Antonio Brown. I reached out to CEO Mark Murphy and asked him personally if this was true. He stated unequivocally there was no truth to the rumor and warned me to take these so-called NFL experts, he says, with a grain of salt because they frequently have bad info. I did think it was very entertaining that Mark Murphy called Adam Schefter a so-called NFL expert. Uh, Jadeveon Clowney is still available at defensive end. I don't think that the Packers really have a great spot for him, considering that's kind of a position of strength. Tackle Russell Okung, I would love to get. This is one of my favorite players in the NFL. I think it's a little bit unlikely, but we do need a new tackle. Of course, you could look at some former Packers like Snacks Harrison and Rick Wagner. That would make sense for Aaron Rodgers to be reaching out to them on a personal level. However, I do think that that information would have been included in the initial report by Mike Silver. Sammy Watkins is still a free agent. Maybe. I really think offensive line, wide receiver, or just a guy that Rodgers has a personal connection to would make the most sense. So there you have it. Very interesting. 
Speaking of Snacks Harrison, he and Rashawn Gary are attending a, quote, true brotherhood nose tackle summit hosted by renowned defensive line and offensive line specialist coach Brandon Jordan. There's a relatively long list of players that are attending. Rashawn Gary is the only one I can find who plays on the outside. Everybody else is your traditional big fat nose tackle. This includes guys like Seahawk Puna Ford and Viking Michael Pierce. Obviously, Rashawn was asked about this, and it turns out he's not making a position switch. He said, quote, it's about improvement. I'm taking my game and watching film and finding ways to get better. Me and Brandon see the game the same way. He understands how I like to rush and how I like to move and finish things. Rashawn did post a video of himself working out at the camp. It looks very, very athletic as always. Of course, a reminder that Aaron Rodgers is currently hosting Jeopardy. I have not been watching myself, but apparently a lot of Packer fans have been enjoying it. So don't forget to tune into that if you want to catch it live. One last little Aaron Rodgers note. Uh, he did reference Shailene Woodley, his fiance, as his wife the other day. And then they were also spotted together at Disney World, which suggests that the two may have gotten married. Either way, Aaron does seem pretty happy, so good luck to them. Alrighty, that does it for today. For more in-depth analysis and a look at Packers strategy, make sure you're subscribed to the Packernet Podcast, hosted by the Pack Daddy, Ryan Schlipp. Keep up on all the Green Bay Packers news by going to packernet.com and join the Packernet Podcast Facebook group. My name is JJ Leahy, and this has been The Daily Cheese, your Green Bay Packers news update.